we noted earlier, the recall of contaminated pet food keeps getting bigger and bigger. The FDA is now blocking a Chinese company's exports of an ingredient that's been found in all the tainted food. And then late last night, this is the news, a new recall has been announced for some Dingo brand foods. And you can learn more about that warning on our website at cbsnews.com. And as you can imagine, many dog and cat owners are looking for other options right now, some of them even cooking for their pets. Our resident veterinarian, early show correspondent, Dr. Debbie Turner has some ideas about that. Hi, Debbie. Hi, how this are you? The story keeps getting worse and worse. It won't go away. It seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Can you put the latest recall in perspective for us? What happened overnight? The, what happened overnight was there was this dingo, these dingo treats, and they found salmonella in those treats. So that's completely different from the menu foods recall where we found the melamine that we think is associated with the wheat gluten. Another big thing that's happened just recently is the first dry food was included on the menu foods recall. But people should not panic. It was a specific dry food that's usually pro that is provided to veterinarians. You can only get it through your veterinarian. And it's because the wheat gluten was found in that dry food. So there are still plenty of foods out there that are safe to feed your pet. Okay, so you can still feed your, fet your pet commercially produced pet food. Absolutely. Again, right. I just encourage okay. people to go to those websites, mm -hmm. check and make sure their brand is not included in the recall. Recall, And if you're not sure, mm -hmm. then look at the ingredients on the back of the uh, bag and make sure wheat gluten is not there. Okay. It's probably safe. Uh, dogs and cats have a lot of the same nutritional requirements that we do, right? So right. if we're looking to feed them on our own, what kind of food do they need? Nutrition for a dog and cat are not created equal. Dogs are omnivores like us, which means okay. they eat many different foods. So they do need vegetables. They need grains, like we have rice and oats here, and they do need protein of, of many different types of meats. Cats are what are called obligate carnivores, and they need a higher percentage of protein and a supplement called taurine. So you cannot feed your dog and cat the same diet and expect good results. And them. there are definite human foods that you absolutely cannot give your pet. They're things that are very dangerous for your pet. So let's take a, a look at that list. Let's go through a list of those. Mm -hmm. Onions, garlic, uh, raisins, grapes, chocolate, macadamia nuts, all of these do bad things for your pets. And let me also add that spices don't do well in your pet system. So we don't spice your pet's food the way you would spice yours. It'll create diarrhea and some other upset things that you don't want to have to deal with around your house. We have some recipes that are mm -hmm. safe and Dr. Debbie Turner, veterinarian approved. <laughs> I must say, I did talk to a veterinary nutritionist who helped mm -hmm. me with these recipes. Okay. I want to thank Dr. Sean Delaney. This is rice and chicken and oil. And if you want to pour those in there together. And this would be just for a, what this kind would of be pet? For a 50-pound dog, okay? Oh. Now, here's the thing. You go to a specific website. If you go to our website, you'll get more information. Uh, there are a couple of websites like this. You mix this together, and this is enough for one dog. While you're mixing this, I'm going to step behind you. In order for this recipe to be nutritionally complete for your mm -hmm. dog, I want to reveal all of these supplements have to be added. Holy cow. This is why I wow. cannot recommend that you cook for your pet because they have very specific nutritional needs and you have to add all of this into this recipe for your dog to be fully fully new, uh, uh, supplied with their nutrients. Wait, what's in here? The, uh, there is uh, calcium. They have increased need for calcium. There's choline in there that's necessary. Also, a multivitamin and zinc. All very important for dogs. Wow, look at all of that. Yeah. Okay, and Isn't you would actually crazy? have to grind that up. You'd have to grind that up to make sure, hide it in there to make sure the dogs mm -hmm. eat it. This is what it looks like, and this is enough for a portion for a 50-pound dog for one day. That's about 1,170 calories. All right, what about cats? This is a recipe, again, from Dr. Delaney, and this is salmon and sweet potato. This does look like sweet potato, but it's sweet potato, as well as oil. You can mix all those together, and the cat needs all those same supplements that I just mentioned, plus taurine and additional calcium. So if you're going to cook for your pet, you need to formulate a diet that has all the right nutrients plus the supplements and then the right proportions for your animal. Are you getting how complicated this yes. could be if you, could try, if you try to do this? No. Cats particularly have a very specific need for taurine, so you've got to make sure that that's in the diet. Uh, if you mix all that together. Mm -hmm. You know, cats are persnickety, so you got to make sure all those Oof. supplements are completely dissolved right. and that they can't discern it. This is enough for one cat for one day, about 265 calories. Now, what if you're searching for a safe recipe? Can you just go anywhere on the internet? Because there are a lot of pet no, recipes no, no, out no. there. Anybody right. can make up a recipe, put it up on the, on the mm -hmm. internet, and it'll be do detriment to your pet. In fact, I found one recipe yesterday on the internet that had said, put garlic in there for your dogs. Oh, dogs love goodness. the taste of garlic. You yeah. do not want to trust internet recipes. If you really want to cook with your for your veteran, uh, for your pet, consult your veterinarian, show them the recipe, let them help you. But really, there's some fine dry foods out there that are still safe for our pets. That's what my dog eats. Yeah. And he's just fine. That's All the right. right thing to do. Debbie Turner, thanks so mm -hmm. much.